Bless the Lord, who forgives all our sins. His, His mercy, mercy endures, endures forever. forever. Hear the commandments of God to his people. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of bondage. You shall have no other gods but me. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy. You shall not make for yourself any idol. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy. You shall not invoke with malice the name of the Lord your God. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have mercy. Honor your father and your mother. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. You shall not commit murder. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You shall not commit adultery. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You shall not steal. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You shall not be a false witness. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. mercy. You shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Amen. Amen. Lord, Lord, have have mercy. Jesus said, the first commandment is this, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord be with you. And also also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, whose most dear Son went not up to joy, but first he suffered pain, and entered not into glory before he was crucified, mercifully grant that we, walking in the way of the cross, may find it none other than the way of life and peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen, in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break, and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth, and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God, the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon and the prison, those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. The word of the Lord. 
Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. We shall read the verses of Psalm 36 in unison. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness is like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. You save both man and beast, O Lord. How priceless is your love, O God. Your people take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They feast upon the abundance of your house. You give them drink from the river of your delights. For with you is the well of life, and in your light we see light. Continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your favor to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of the proud come near me, nor the hand of the wicked push me aside. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory Glory to you, Lord Christ. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Lord Christ. Christ. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. You've heard the story, but have you ever tried to picture it? A group gathers for dinner. Mary, Martha, and Lazarus are there. So is Judas, probably some of the other disciples as well, maybe others. It's not just a small family dinner with a single guest. And we all know there's an etiquette to a dinner party. The way it's always done, who sits where, who talks to whom. But Mary ignores all of that. She opens a jar of expensive perfume, and the scent fills the air. It's an earthy smell, maybe with a hint of lavender. Everyone in the house can smell it. Everyone can see what she's doing. She kneels in front of Jesus. His feet would have been rough from years of walking dusty roads and sandals. Mary anoints his feet with oil and then wipes them with her hair. Not with a bit of old cloth, but with her hair. It's such an extravagant and intimate act. I imagine the whole scene unfolding in silence. Would there have been tears in Mary's eyes or in Jesus's? A few days later, Jesus would wash his own disciples' feet, and I wonder if he got the idea from her.
most of the time, we figure we should be sensible, prudent. We ought to plan ahead to use our resources wisely, shouldn't we? Isn't that the definition of wisdom, of good stewardship, even? Maybe, but here's the problem. Judas was sensible. John's gospel calls him a thief, and maybe he was, but let's give him the benefit of the doubt for just a moment. Wasn't he right? Should Mary really have wasted a resource that could have been sold to help many people in need? Last year during Lent, you might remember that Father James preached on the four cardinal virtues, one of which is prudence. Prudence, he said, quoting Augustine, is love distinguishing with sagacity between what hinders and what helps it. Love distinguishing with sagacity between what hinders and what helps it. Love is at the heart of that equation. And sometimes love might be served by looking at balance sheets and budgets and analyzing the comparative effectiveness of different courses of action. Sometimes, but not always. Sometimes we need to forget the sensible. Sometimes we need to pour out costly perfume without counting the cost. Fill the house with the scent and wipe someone's feet with our hair. Jesus Christ intercedes for us at all times. Together, let us remember and pray to God through Christ, saying, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church, that the fasting of these 40 days may clear away much that is needless and so open our eyes to the bright glory of the cross. Let us pray for Michael, our presiding bishop, Peter, our bishop, and the clergy of this parish. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Church of the Province of the Indian Ocean and for our companion diocese in the Dominican Republic, Madagascar, the Bahamas, and Haiti. In our own diocese, we pray for All Angels Church, Miami Springs, and Church of the Atonement, Lauderdale Lakes. Lord, in your mercy, hear our, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for our divided and restless world that those who hold power over others may be troubled and transformed by the demands of justice. Let us pray for Donald, our president, Ron, our governor, and the mayor and members of the town council. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who suffer want, that God in mercy may turn our hearts toward one another. Lord, in your mercy. Hear, hear our prayer. Let us pray for ourselves, that this church may walk both as burdened and as free as Jesus. God of peace, we ask you to calm our fears and anxieties as we confront a world troubled by disease and unrest. Let us pray for everyone on our parish prayer list and for all persons who are or recently have been hospitalized, especially Anne, Denise, Celia, Jim, Olga, Marsha, Stan, Tricia, and windy, as well as those we name now either silently or aloud. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray for all who have died, that they may be at peace. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Vince and those we name now either silently or aloud. Lord, 
Lord, in your mercy. Hear Hear our our prayer. prayer. God of the present moment, God who in Jesus stills the storm and soothes the frantic heart, bring hope and courage to all who wait or work in uncertainty. Bring hope that you will make them the equal of whatever lies ahead. Bring them courage to endure what cannot be avoided, for your will is health and wholeness. For you are God, and we need you. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with you. Peace be with you, Hal. Peace be with you, Margaret. Peace, peace. be with you, Pearl. Well, it's a gift to be here this Monday of Holy Week, uh, walking the way of the cross. Uh, each day this week, we'll be together for worship uh, and the Eucharist. So, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday will be at 11. Thursday will be in the evening, preceded by an agape meal via Zoom. And uh, Good Friday will be at noon because it's Good Friday, and that needs to be at noon. Uh, And then the other days will all be at 11. What you need to know most importantly is that all of we've made a new website, and all the information about the ways we're connecting uh, during this time of separation are on a website that's bbtsvirtual.org. So all that information is there, easy to find, and I encourage you to go look at that. I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, by the mercies of God, to present yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It It is is right to give our thanks and praise. It is truly right and good and joyful to give you thanks, all holy God, source of life and fountain of mercy. You bid your faithful people cleanse their hearts and prepare with joy for the Paschal Feast, that fervent in prayer and in works of mercy, and renewed by your word and sacraments, they may come to the fullness of grace which you have prepared for those who love you. Therefore, joining with angels and archangels and with the faithful of every generation, we lift our voices with all creation as we say, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, gracious God, creator of the universe and giver of life. You formed us in your own image and called us to dwell in your infinite love. You gave the world into our care that we might be your faithful stewards and show forth your bountiful grace. But we fail to honor your image in one another and in ourselves. We would not see your goodness in the world around us. And so we violated your creation, abused one another, and rejected your love. Yet you never ceased to care for us and prepared the way of salvation for all people. Through Abraham and Sarah, you called us into covenant with you. You delivered us from slavery, sustained us in the wilderness, and raised up prophets to renew your promise of salvation. Then, in the fullness of time, you sent your eternal word made mortal flesh in Jesus. Born into the human family and dwelling among us, he revealed your glory. Giving himself freely to death on the cross, he triumphed over evil, opening the way of freedom and life. 
On the night before he died for us, our Savior Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. As supper was ending, Jesus took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has, has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ will come again. again. Remembering his death and resurrection, we now present to you from your creation this bread and this wine. By your Holy Spirit, may they be for us the body and blood of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Grant that we who share these gifts may be filled with the Holy Spirit and live as Christ's body in the world. Bring us into the everlasting heritage of your daughters and sons, that with all your saints, past, present, and yet to come, we may praise your name forever. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, to you be honor, glory, and praise forever and ever. Amen. Amen. As our Savior Christ has taught us, we now pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy, Have mercy on, us. on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, Grant us peace. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. God of abundance, you, you have, have fed us with the bread of life and cup of salvation. You have united us with Christ and one another, and you have made us one with all your people in heaven and on earth. Now send us forth in the power of your Spirit, that we may proclaim your redeeming love to the world, and continue forever in the risen life of Christ our Savior. Amen. Bow down before the Lord. Almighty God, we pray you graciously to behold this your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ was willing to be betrayed and given into the hands of sinners, and to suffer death upon the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.